In today's vlog, I am super excited because we finally get to do my on-feet review and unboxing of the shoe inside this box. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Adidas Ultra Boost 20. It is the successor to the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 which came out last year, which I am a massive fan of. And if you don't believe that I'm a fan of the Ultra Boost 19, here are six pairs that I bought with my own money at full price with no discount of different models of the shoe. We have the Asia exclusive, we have the Woodwood collaboration, we have the, I think it's like the US exclusive, we have the Soul Academy store exclusive which came out, we have the Ultra Boost 19 Star Wars Millennium Falcon over here, and we have the Dark Pixel which came out as an exclusive to Commonwealth. And it goes without saying that the Ultra Boost 19 is one of my most worn sneakers of 2019 and that is why as a huge fan of the silhouette of the sneaker I was so excited to finally get my hands on the newest edition which is the Ultra Boost 20. So what are we going to do in today's vlog? Number one we're going to unbox it I'm going to share with you what's different compared to the Ultra Boost 19 and then after that we're going to talk about my on feet experience with the Ultra Boost 20. I will be sharing with you as well a link to one of the best performance reviews that I've watched about the Ultra Boost 20 so if you are a serious runner and you want a hardcore performance review, you can watch something after watching this vlog. And then we'll ask the question and ask, answer the question, should you buy the Ultra Boost 20 over the Ultra Boost 19? Let's go! Before anything though, don't forget to subscribe. Why? We're giving away a easy 500 stone. All you have to do is to watch the Osaka vlogs, check out the mechanics there, and you should be included. We're also giving away like a 10,000 peso shopping spree in an outlet and a bunch more of other giveaways. All the details can be found in the description box. Subscribe now, follow me on Instagram, join our Facebook community, all the links down below. Good luck. So let's jump right into the unboxing. As you guys can see, it comes in your new Ultra Boost box, which is basically black, and it opens from the top like so. It's no longer the yellow and purple white Ultra Boost box that came out with the Ultra Boost 4.0. Now, if you take a look at the sneaker, I this is the only colorway that I could find which initially came out, which I got from our friends from Seoul Academy. I usually buy a lot of sneakers from them. So if you guys haven't checked out Seoul Academy yet, check them out. They have a lot of great sneakers. And I'll actually, I'm actually going to do a dedicated sneaker shopping vlog when I was there, when I picked this one up uh, in the next few days. So watch out for that. So what changed with the Ultra Boost 20 compared to the Ultra Boost 19? Uh, there are several elements that are very noticeable and I'll kick things off with the thing that they're highlighting the most in the features which is the tailored fiber placement. So what is that? In a nutshell, they basically put reinforced fiber lining along the edges of the sneaker to give it better support and better foot lockdown. One of the biggest complaints about the Ultra Boost in previous generations from the 1.0 to the 4.0 is that your feet would slide all over the place when you are running. They address that with the Ultra Boost 19 with a better and more snug prime knit combined with this cage and the heel frame over here. They level that up with the fiber placement that you see here along the edges of the new Ultra Boost 20. Apart from that, two more noticeable differences. At the back over here, they used an elastane material, some sort of padded foam here at the heel compared to the full prime knit material that you see with the Ultra Boost 19. Is that a good thing? If you ask me, yes. Why is that a good thing? Because I just feel that it's more comfortable and it's easier to slide your feet in with the Ultra Boost 20 compared to the Ultra Boost 19. I also love the feel of when you know when you're uh, pulling your heel backward and you hit that padded foam, it feels much better and feels more comfortable and cushiony compared to like your typical prime net here with the 19 silhouette. And the last noticeable change really is the cage, but it's really more aesthetic in my opinion more than anything else. As you guys can see, this is what the cage looks like with the 19, it kind of disappears into the sneaker. This one uses some sort of like harder material, slightly harder material 
a bit more I don't know visible but it's it's more aesthetic in my opinion maybe if you are you know are a hardcore runner it makes a big difference I think James Jameson one of my favorite performance runner reviewers here on YouTube mentioned that they also uh, it also added to the stability but it's not like you know massively different everything else is the same the, the boost material is still 20% more compared to the Ultra Boost 4.0 the 3D heel frame is still here at the back which gives you you know stable support so that you can have natural movement with your Achilles when you're running everything else uh, including the Continental outs outsole uh, the stretch web is the same as the 19 so how is the Ultra Boost 20 on feet in terms of cushioning it is obviously very similar to the Ultra Boost 19 because you literally have the same boost material underneath your feet so it's not dramatically different you still get that stability that support the extra boost which I am a huge fan of and I'm and I really love the difference really is the upper because with the Ultra Boost 19 and the previous 4.0 3.0 the entire upper was basically made out of primed it so you can literally wiggle your toes all around up down left right and it's like a full sock experience there's nothing stopping your toes or the edges of your feet from you know breaking out of the knit because you're literally like wearing a sock now with the ultra boost 20 because it is primarily a performance sneaker the fiber placement along the sides gives it structure gives it like i don't know like a border <laughs> or a wall so that when your toes are you know moving all over the place it actually stops now in terms of running that's a good thing because you have a better foot lockdown you know there's better stability now for lifestyle wear is that a good thing is that a bad thing uh, you better ask yourself the question this do you move your toes all the time do you wiggle it left and right all the time up and down if the answer to that is yes then maybe the 19 is better for you if you're just going to wear it for you know daily use but if no then i don't see like a big you know i don't see it being an issue which leads me to the most controversial question of today's vlog which is should you buy the ultra boost 20 over the ultra boost 19 why should you buy the ultra boost 20 over the ultra boost 19 now this is where uh, you get a lot of benefits from having choice okay so if you are like a performance runner and you love running with the ultra boost so you are an ultra boost 19 runner and you feel that the shoe is still loose then obviously the ultra boost 20 is the one for you because it addresses that issue it addresses that problem you get better foot lockdown you get better stability you get better foot containment with the ultra boost 20. if you are a casual user though if you are just an everyday lifestyle ultra boost nut aka like me then obviously it really boils down to the design and the styling of the ultra boost silhouette uh, because ultimately while the fiber placement is awesome for people who run it's awesome for people who are into performance if you are an everyday you know just user of the ultra boost it really won't make that much of a difference it's not game changing and it's not enough for you to completely throw away the 19 and say that the 20 is the perfect sneaker and that the 19 is irrelevant that's really not the case so if you want designs of the 19s they're still really good they're still very stable they're still super comfortable cushioning is still amazing especially since a lot of the 19s are now going on sale so if you go to outlets some of the colorways of the gr the general releases of the ultra boost 19 are selling for like six thousand pesos which is three thousand less than the srp 3500 less than the srp of the new ultra boost 20. as for me i am super excited to get my hands on the space station edition of the ultra boost 20. this is like the general release white version of the ultra boost 20 uh, not the special edition one so i am super excited to get my hands on that i don't know if it will get like a wider release i missed my chance on the on the adidas philippines website unfortunately so if i need to go to the aftermarket to be able to pick one up and you know just use because i love the color that they use for the boost on that one to mimic like the space station and stuff that it looks really kick-ass and super futuristic i will probably pull the trigger on that one as well and i am super excited to see collaborations with the ultra boost uh, 20. i think that was one of the major issues with the 19. all the collaborations came out late as in literally be a few weeks before the ultra boost 20 we saw the woodwood collaboration we saw the star wars collaboration we saw the collaboration with universal works we saw the collaboration with neighborhood a few weeks before the 20. 
So my prayer is, my suggestion to Adidas, if ever, I, I doubt they're watching anyone. <laughs> but yeah, if they could release like collaborations, more collaborations like the one with the space station uh, in the next few months, early, early into the year, before the Ultra Boost 21 comes out, that would be awesome. And with that said, that's actually it for our review for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked our video. What do you think of the Ultra Boost 20 based out of my review? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from all of you on your opinion on the Ultra Boost 20. Should you buy it over the 19? Should you stick to the 19? Should you stick to the 4.0, 3.0, 2.0, 1.0? And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.